All right, let's get right to it. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And today we are looking at HBO Now. HBO Now is 14.99 a month and it delivers all the fun of HBO Go to customers who do not have cable or HBO already. This costs 14.99 a month and it gives you access to lots and lots of movies and HBO's huge list of original television shows. Now some fans from the 80s might notice that it's missing something like First and Ten, which was a kind of a football comedy show. But nearly everything that HBO produced over the last 15 years or so is on here. So, you can get a look at that. It also includes HBO's selection of blockbuster movies. You can tell a lot of people are accessing this right now because <laughs> this is not moving quickly. But they have their movies and they're all organized by genre. They actually even include adult listings in case you were really wondering about that. We don't have a watch list. So you have your series, you've got your movies, you've got comedy specials. I'm not going to read every single heading to you, I'm just assuming that you might find that intelligent, and I don't like to do that to people. Yeah, there's your late night. Now, I've been trying to demonstrate, just for my own self, a, uh, a movie starting. But I think that this thing is so heavily used at the moment that things just aren't starting. So I can't demonstrate a movie coming on at the moment. Maybe I can do that in a later video. But I did just want to get this out there that it was there. Now, I haven't noticed a live feed anywhere. Some people have been reporting that there was going to be a live feed. And yeah, there we are. There's something going on right there. We need another HDMI cable. But we'll hook one of those up later and get a look at how the actual video playback is. But overall, I think that this is a very pretty app. It integrates... Apple's new basic operating procedures up here and but if you want to see the old-fashioned Apple looking interface you can actually do it from more but then it just brings you back into this but that's HBO now in order to sign up for this, you've got to go through the iTunes store on one of your iOS devices. Make sure your credit card information is up to date because they're going to ask you for the last couple of numbers on your card and your verification number on the back. After that, you're set for a free month. Just remember, free months do run out. So if you don't want to pay $14 a month from now, make sure to cancel and maybe circle it a couple of days early so you don't run out of time. But this is totally worth checking out, even if it's just to catch up on a bunch of movies you've never seen. I hope that was helpful. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on.